Hey, it's Robin from Rose and Lily. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little heart. It works up really quickly and is great for a last minute gift. First you'll need some chunky or super chunky plush yarn in a color of your choice. Then you will also need a USG crochet hook, a yarn needle, scissors, polyfill, and I always recommend using stitch markers. The stitches you need to know beforehand are magic ring, single crochet, slip stitch, increase and invisible decrease. We're going to start on these two top sections of the heart and work downwards. So we'll do the first top section in round one, we're doing six single crochet in a magic ring. I'll link my tutorial for how I like to do the magic ring at the top of the video. Pull the ring tight. And then I like to put a stitch marker in the last stitch of each round. In round two, we do six increases. This means we do two single crochet into each stitch from round one. This means we have 12 stitches in total for round two. In round three, we just do one single crochet into each stitch from round two. This means we're doing 12 single crochet in total. For the first top section only, at this point we're going to close and cut the yarn after round 3. And I'm actually going to put that stitch marker back at the end of round 3. Now you're going to crochet the second top section exactly the same as the first, but don't close or cut the yarn after round 3. So here's the second top section and we're going to join it to the first. And I'm going to do a single crochet into the first section just after the stitch marker. So that would be the first stitch of round three. I'm going into the first stitch of round three and making a single crochet. And this is now my first stitch of round four. And I'll add a marker to this stitch as well. We'll use this leftover tail from the first piece to close the hole later. Now we've already done one stitch of round four so we do another 11 single crochet on the first section. And here's the last stitch on the first section into that marked stitch. Now we're going to continue crocheting on the second section. 
there will be a gap which we will close later. So I'll go in on the second section and we're doing 12 single crochet. And here is the last of those 12 single crochet. And that's the end of round 4. The first stitch of round 5 is going into that marked stitch that we used to join the pieces together. And in round 5 it's just 24 single crochet around. So we're just doing one single crochet into each stitch from the previous round. Now we can close the gap between the pieces. So I'm just going to tuck away the tails from the magic rings first. And then I'll use the tail from the end of the first section to sew that hole closed. And I'll just close that gap with a few stitches. Then you can secure the tail with a few stitches and just tuck it in. Now we can move on to round 6. And we're going to start decreasing. So first we do 6 single crochet. And then an invisible decrease. And we'll do that three times in total. So six single crochet and a decrease. In round 7 we do 5 single crochet and then the decrease and we do all of that 3 times in total. So 5 single crochet and a decrease. This will bring the total of round 7 down to 18. In round 8 it's 4 single crochet and a decrease and we do that 3 times to get 15. In round 9 it's 3 single crochet and a decrease. We do that 3 times to get 12.
Now we're going to add the stuffing. And you'll want to stuff it quite firmly, but not so firm that the stuffing shows through the stitches. In round 10, it's two single crochet and then a decrease and we do that three times to get nine. In round 11, which is our last round, we do a single crochet and then a decrease and we do that three times in total to get six. Now we can close and cut the yarn. And I'm going to add a bit more stuffing right to the end using the back of the crochet hook. Now we're going to sew the hole closed. And I like to do this by going through the front loops of the last six stitches. Then pull on the yarn to close the hole. Then insert the yarn into the piece into a few places to secure it. And that is the heart completed. Thanks so much for watching the tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell. The free written pattern for this heart is located on my website.